All right, we have a treat for YouTube. This is like YouTube only content. I got Kenji over here, good friend of mine. Uh, you know him as Strategy on Twitch. Um, and he's found three Scrabble tip strategy videos on YouTube to show show me bits of. And we're going criti to criticize them, basically. <laughs> criticize them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See see what they did right and see what they did wrong. I mean, you gave timestamps. So basically, we're going to look at these videos and everything else in the video that we're not looking at is probably correct, right? So Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this one is called How to Win at Scrabble Almost Every Time. Keith Galley, partnered YouTuber or like he has the check mark, 146K subscribers. But this video doesn't even have 100,000 views. Man. Anyways, so let's Not listen quite. to him a little bit and uh, see what he has to say. What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to win at Scrabble almost. Okay. Sorry. So right now I have an S in my rack that I could potentially play around with. I could use it to make rugby, rugbies. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of worried to do that because that might expose a triple word for the opponent to use. <laughs> so I think I'm going to avoid that. Instead, I'm going to use my knowledge of three-letter words and capitalize on a... Your knowledge of three-letter words like bed. Bed? Goo. Okay. You got it. You think that, like, after... Like, I can kind of understand how you could miss... You could just, like, miss... You know, misdo that and just, like... But, like, wouldn't you catch yourself at some point during this entire statement? Like, oh, Rob Beasley no. was just like, oh... Oh, no, no, no. And maybe he's just trying to do things in one take, like me. And he doesn't really care. <laughs> Rugby's. So apparently the rest of this video is fine, but I think this is like... It's not good. That's not like, how English works. It's not yeah. quite as bad as... It's not quite as bad as not knowing that Y doesn't take yes usually in words like rugby's. rugby's. I mean, look, the bingo rugby's, R-U-G-B-I-E-S, obviously is actually a hard word to spot and the word rugby as well so the fact that it's on the board hey that's like <laughs> does not take an S. i think the computer put the word on the board oh, okay he's playing the computer okay okay fine all right no more benefit of the doubt <laughs> all right um... you don't deserve it <laughs> damn harsh okay so this is the second video uh this one's called how to win at scrabble Have three you ever... scrabble tips for beginners by Manhattan Prep, 12.7 thousand subscribers, 62,000 views from 2018. This guy looks pretty spiffy. He does. Have he you ever played like Scrabble or one of its online variants and felt like you couldn't be good because you're bad this. at spelling or you don't know enough words? Yes. I'm Logan. I'm a GRE instructor here at Manhattan Prep. <laughs> and the secret is you can get a lot better at Scrabble without learning a single new word. Here's my top three tips. What? Wow, that's nice editing. So tip number one, always look at the board first and find some good places to put some words. Let's say I can make this amazing and hilarious word quack, but I'm looking at the board and I'm thinking, oh, I can't put quack anywhere. So I could. <laughs> yes, you can climb, but nerd, nerdish corrections aside. I mean, that's not a common yeah. word. I'll give yeah. you the benefit of the yeah. doubt okay. here. Okay, you can't play quack. It's funny that he has like quackier aligned. That's like a common phony. Yeah. Um, quackery, quackery is valid, but not quacky. Um, so it's a good thing he's not playing quackier. But what is he going to play instead? I could get stuck and get frustrated and bang my head against the wall trying to make a quack fit. Or I could see, oh, look, there's so many places I could play Such through this L joke. or this I. I could start with a B or this other L or an E. And then I might see, ooh, instead of quack, I can make quail. Oh. Now I've got my points, and I've saved some frustration. No. Plus, wait, plus what? If you're looking at all the options on the board, you'll be able to consider a lot of options of words more quickly, which means you're more likely to come up with something worth more points. And I've saved some frustration. Okay, so that's so it's a horrible play, first of all. Yeah, but like right. not knowing, not knowing any more words is what he's saying like learning learning to play without learning any more words so let's so not look at the, the words he doesn't know right right 
but, but we, like, there are words that you know that are far far better than quail this position such as quicker like quick. i wonder quick or yeah quick through the i quicker through the e i wonder if like he thinks that you have to play horizontally vertically horizontally maybe that's the problem i mean maybe. you still play quick which is like so much closer to quack anyway <laughs> okay I just, all right like, You're trying way too hard to make this like a reasonable play. Yeah, sorry. But like, what? way it's, too it, hard. It's it's good advice. At least it's good advice to look at the board because yes, yeah. People tend to try to form words on their rack first, then they look at the board and like, oh, there's nowhere to put this word. Like I've seen people struggle so often. Like they have a a bingo. Like they have a word using all their letters, and then they look at the board and it doesn't fit. It's like let's say it's a really like it's a staircase board. Like there are just plays all along the diagonal and there's no s hooks to play so they're looking for this bingo and they can't find a spot for it and they they their bingo ends in s then they make a play they redraw a bingo that ends in s and they find the bingo that ends in s and then they look at the board again and of course there's still no s hook. <laughs> it's like, what are you wasting your time it's like great you found the word but you you should look at the board so at least yeah you yeah. know how to look at the board unlike you who plays Blindfold Scrabble on Twitch. You know, cheap plug. Wow. That's so nice. <laughs> Man. Um, yeah, no, this is... Okay, good advice with terrible execution. That's usually what we're probably going to find. Okay, last video. Uh, how to win at Scrabble. Five tips for beginners. Simple and easy tips. Right. Tutorial, step by step. We already know we're in trouble when the, on the board is rate and equal. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of these plays could possibly be possibly optimal. Be okay. Yeah, that's not good. Like maybe they opened with rat, which is also probably never optimal. <laughs> but yeah, okay. This I'm sort of scared about this one. And the title, man. They yeah. know how to they know how to fetch the algorithm. It's like seven thousand hyphens. This is called how to dot 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 solve puzzles. Twenty one point six thousand subscribers. 150,000 views though. So this one went viral. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's watch this. Hi there. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. What did you say? Howdy? For howdy. Uh, Scrabble, howdy. for playing Scrabble. British accent. And uh, these are all just uh, beginner know they said tips howdy. and tricks to help you be a better Scrabble player and hopefully win more games. So on the board here, there's been two goes. I've put down rate and my opponent's put down equal. Well, I don't think this is a British accent. Maybe it is. Uh, let us know in the comments. Um, all right. Rate and equal on the board. And the first tip is always use a double word score or a triple word score that's um, there to be used. Because if you don't put any, um, if you don't use your double word score, then your opponent definitely will use it the next time. Okay, wait, right next to, right next to the... Right next to the rules of the game it says you have to connect your play to the any play on the board. You have to use the double word <laughs> scores. Yeah, it's right there. Plain text. No, you don't. You don't. It's good to use the multipliers, but it's not necessary. Yeah, it's good. If and you don't, word great your opponent. You obviously get... He says if you don't, your opponent's going to use it. Yeah, those, okay. those devastating double word double. scores the uh, score <laughs> for that go. And even if you've only just got a couple of letters, it's always worthwhile using up the double word score or triple word score. So there we go, I'm adding an L and a Y no. to that one. And um, so it's only two letters, but I'm going to get one, two, and six. Six double is 12 points. <laughs> okay, anybody, anybody in the comments, try to find somewhere to put L-Y. That's better than this. <laughs> let's score. Just a little let's, bit. Let's try 27. Try 27. Common word. No. This is... He's like... He's completely destroyed his own logic. Like, how do these people do this? It's not like you'll always have a much better play with the exact same letters if you're putting two <laughs> letters down. This is incredible. This is almost as if he's like... He knows that he's like not he's telling... Parroting himself. Me and then I'll equally that lay. equally, so my opponent. Can't. 
Okay, so your opponent can't use it, but then they can use the triple <laughs> that you say they have to use. <laughs> then they can use the other doubles. <laughs> so you're not actually achieving anything. Okay. The, the 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 bonus squares in Scrabble have like they interact really well. Like so a lot of the time, like when you use a bonus square, you're opening another bonus square. So it's not you don't have to use bonus squares because if your opponent uses them, they're probably opening something for you, as you can see here, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Next Especially bit. for twelve points. Yeah, twelve points. Don't do it. Next <laughs> bit here. Now another tip. Okay, or some more plays of it the is, board. Um it's my go now and I'm Wait, is that about... like a an Icelandic O. Like, what is up with that O? That and is that a I is upside o. down. What the hell is yes. going on here? I'm very upset. Okay, what is he doing? That putting down prey up there. So it's not a bad word because on a double word score. So, and that's going to give me so okay. eight, nine and eighteen. But, but there I've got. Um, I've set. Yeah. I've set my opponent up. Yeah. Okay. With a triple word score, yeah, either don't necessarily there want to do that, or there as well. So um, yeah, or I there. Yeah. Good luck with that. Reconsider, one. pray, and I might say put down, pay, so I get to use the double word score. No. And I still get uh, three, four, eight, sixteen points, but I haven't set up the you triple word again. score for my opponent. You did it in again. In the next go. Yes, you did. Spay is a word. He did set up the triple. Oh no, he he, nah. he shot he himself play... in the foot again. <laughs> so in addition to that, you could just play pa and pa and a y, or yeah. there's warp on the board too. So you could use warp. And oh yeah, play warp. Wrap or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or just, yeah, anything. A else. lot of other things. Just anything else? That's not a good. Or play. use the p over where you played the lay thing and do some play thing over there yeah like he's not showing the board because it's it's not useful to the the tip <laughs> he's trying to teach us or, oh gosh or rap and aw and npa over there there's like four different places to play the same letters that are infinitely better than what he's doing yeah um don't you don't need to use the doubles and triples like triples you probably want to use a lot of the time but no, like that's 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 not good advice. That's not good advice. I I disagree. Okay, and then, <laughs> I think that's it, right, Kenshi? Yeah, those are the videos you wanted to that's show. That's the last. That's the last one. Yeah. All right. Well, but, if you enjoyed that, we did another. Um, we did another video on Kenji's channel that'll be linked in, into the description. Um, these aren't videos. These are, I think, tips you found on the internet, like, uh, like images of them, right? Yeah. These are yeah, just just screenshots. Just, yeah. Okay, so yeah, go and check that out for sure. And hopefully we'll do stuff like this in the future. It's a lot of fun. All right, see everybody.